The first was in the large earthquake and tsunami in 2004 that killed more than 80,000 and leaving millions homeless. Early this morning, a Pakistan International Airline flight crashed near Pakistan. The airline stated that there was 42 passengers aboard, along with five crew members and one on-site engineer. This is the first major crash for Pakistan Airlines since 2012, where the plane crashed due to bad weather. Speaking of bad weather, Donald Trump is also preparing for some bad weather as well. President-elect Donald Trump has been seeking advice from President Obama. Trump has been asking Obama on help with picking cabinet members, asking Obama who he thinks is right for the job. Trump stated, I take his recommendations very seriously, and there are some people that I will be that I will be appointing, and in one case have appointed someone who President Obama thinks very highly of. Trump, though, is not telling us about the rest of their meetings, saying their talks are private. But he also said that he's just not talking to Obama about who he should appoint, but about the greatest challenges facing America today. City councils passed a, revolu a resolution ap approving Jody Matherly as the city council's new police chief. The search for a new police chief started early this year with the former police chief Sam Hartigan resigned. The city brought in Slavin management consultants to make the search on a national level. The search produced an 18 potential candidates. However, the city experienced a setback about the lack of racial diversity on the group of final candidates. City manager Geoff Fruin said they made an effort to recruit a diverse applicant pool and some of the minority candidates may have dropped out in the questionnaire stage. Chief Matherly hopes to make a smooth transition this January. Ohio legislation has passed a new controversial bill called the Heartbeat Bill. This bill bans abortions from the moment the fetus has a heartbeat. A fetus typically gets a heartbeat at around six weeks. The bill also has one more part to it that could be added, which would prohibit abortions even in the cases of rape and incest. But this depends on the Republican governor of Ohio. If he vetoes the bill, it will have to try and pass through House and the Senate with the three-fifths overriding vote. The University of Northern Iowa has got a new president, Mark Nook. The Iowa Board of Regents voted unanimously on Mark Nook. Nook is a native Iowan. When asked of the move about the move, he said it's a homecoming for him and his family. Nook seems to be very excited about his new position and ready to take all the challenges that await him. Finally, a quick look at the weather forecast for Iowa City. High of 19 degrees. And for KRUI, I'm Kiara Lewis. And this is Joseph Dixon.